Welcome to Mainframe Studios and our artist studio, Christina Lowley. Join me while we learn about our creative community. Christina Lowley is an Urbandale artist who paints and draws in her studio downtown Des Moines. Hey guys, so today I am actually teaching with my mask on because I'm not in the art classroom. Instead, I am down at Mainframe Studios, 900 KOA in Des Moines, Iowa, and I'm visiting with an artist. So if you didn't have art live with me, you're gonna get to meet the same artist that they met in class. Hey guys! I'm gonna flip the camera around and let her tell you guys a little bit about her artwork, um, the space we're in. We'll get up and move out into the hallway and you can see some of her pieces. Um, I'll kind of interview her with some of the same questions that classmates had today. Hi guys, my name is Christine Lowley and this is my studio. I'm at Mainframe Studios, uh, Studio 428. I am actually from Urbandale. My kids went to Urbandale. My kids walked to school to Valerius Elementary. Lo and behold, you guys are in my neighborhood. <laughs> so this is my studio. I've been here since August, actually August 10th of 2019. And I've basically been an artist all of my life. I've loved art. However, I completely quit after high school didn't do anything nobody knew I could draw and then I had stage four cancer and somebody said well what do you enjoy doing because I was a little down what do you enjoy doing and I said art Where are you on your ability I said as a kid I could draw anything so that's where I started with charcoal drawings this is my very very first drawing after I started back like I said, it's been almost 30 years. And I started doing portraits. My daughter was my very first portrait since getting back to art. My son, my husband's mother, my father, and my grandmother. You wonder what, what do I use for charcoal drawing? I use a charcoal pencil and I use a kneadable eraser. Yes, I use a kneadable eraser for mistakes, but more importantly, I use it to do the hair. So I draw the hair very, very black. I don't care if you're blonde haired or have white hair, you get the hair black because otherwise you will not get dimension. So you gotta get it really, really dark. And then you use the kneadable eraser and then you just lift off in the areas that need to be lightened. So that's what I use. I also do paintings. With my abstracts, I've been using acrylic paints for my abstracts, but for my other paintings, I use oil paints. Now, these oil paints, why are they so thick? The reason why they're thick is in order to get an impasto, which is like that real bumpy, textury feeling, I use a liquid impasto, a liquid impasto to add to the paint because oil paint is very, very expensive. I'll show you my oil paint. By the way, this is my easel. My easel, because this is a small space, I don't have a regular easel, so I have a wall easel, so I'm able to paint very, very big or do multiple paintings all at the same time. So this is where I work. But oil paints are very, very expensive. 
and I keep my oil paints on this little curtain on the back of the door. And some of them are not so bad, but these down here are extremely expensive paints. And some tubes of paint could be $60 a tube. So wonder if I wanna have a lot of paint and a lot of thick texture. This tube, I put squeeze some of this in with my paint and mix it up. It's called liquid impasto. This is my very, very first oil painting that I did. It's called Gordy's Table. I actually named it after a lawn ornament. It's a little woodchuck lawn ornament in the back of my yard um, that I have in, in the lawn. And my friend kept joking as I was painting, you know, there's a little space missing. You need to put Gordy because we named the woodchuck ornament Gordy, Gordy Wilson. You need to put Gordy here leaning, looking at the pears. So when it came time to name the painting, I didn't know what to name it. And all I could think of was Gordy's table. This is my second painting. This is called Lila's Tea Party. After a little girl at the camp, campground kept coming up to me as I was painting. And she was absolutely fascinated. She was maybe what, two years old, two and a half years old. And so I named it Lila's Tea Party. And so this is my second oil. Now this, I used Conte. It's kind of a hard pastel, well crayons are pastel, but it's a hard pastel. And this is the very, very first color piece I had ever, ever done. And I wanted to challenge myself, so I only used red, yellow, blue, and white. So if it's not pure white, pure yellow, pure red, or pure blue, I had to mix all of those colors. Last year I thought, you know what? I need some color, some bright, bright colors. And I just wanted to be able to play and not be so precise and perfectionistic with my work. So I thought, I'm just gonna kind of throw paint on the canvas. And so I've been experimenting with abstract expressionism. So this is one of the first ones that I've done with abstract.